Uh, what are they doing right? Five games. I think the coach said at the beginning of the season was going to yeah. go five games of this, yeah. and he has achieved it. Will he start losing after this time around? But then we know. No, they that said the five way, wins, but five. four is admirable. Yeah, four, five. four is fantastic in the Nigerian yeah. Premier League, playing five games and winning four. <laughs> wow. Come on. It means and they haven't <laughs> lost yet. You know, they are one of the uh, two teams that haven't lost this season. Uh, the other being Rivers United, who uh, also saw how they prepared for the league season, traveling out and, mm. um, and having uh, mini camps and everything. So, a good one for Plato United. Okay. Like you talked about, Kelly Boboye, a uh, great job by the man. Let's see how it continues from, there, from here on. Okay. MFM again, they started uh, winning, doing really well, uh, beating Canopilas one goal to nothing yesterday. And uh, we just hope they'll be able to be cons more consistent <laughs> this time around. Okay, now taking a look at the result now, MFM, it was a day by Wahid, 66 minute goal, was all they needed to get all the third points against Canopilas in Lagos. And Wiki Torres, you had Rich Jonathan Richards scoring a brace and Idris Guba also scoring. And for Ifa Yuba, it was Prince Agri who gave them. I mean, they were up. I mean, he, they just started in on fire. At 50 minutes, Prince Agri has already scored his goal. But then Wiki Torres had to say, okay, we're actually home. And they gave them three after they ended 3 1. Gombe United and Sunshine Stars. It was all about the home team. Two goes to nothing. That one ended. And you have a Sanusi Sunny scoring. And of course, Mani Ubali also scoring in 90th minute. That was a penalty. And that's how they won that one. Rangers. And Niger Tenenders, what is happening to Rangers? Mm. Godwin Aguda gave them the go in the 40th minute. And Chideberi Ajoku said, okay, we can't go home without getting anything. And that's how that one ended in a draw. Split United and Abia Warriors. <laughs> that Split United, well, there's something they're actually doing very right anyway. Alicia Gombe scored in the fifth minute. Philip Azongo, 43rd minute. And Godwin Zaki tried to come back for Abia Warriors, but that just wasn't to be for them. Split United taking all points. Rivers United and Lobisters. Rivers again, the second game in a row, not finding the back of the net against Lobisters. That ended goalless. And ABS and Shooting Stars. ABS, Mohamed Mohamed and Ebuka Anekwe scoring for both for them. And Aimba and Nassau United. Aimba winning this one two goes to one. That's right. And that was a, another fantastic result. It was Umfamodo scoring both goals for Aimba. And where you have Adamu Hassan trying to equalize four. Colors for Nassau United, but then and then 2-1. Kasina United and Aqua. Aqua United, when would they get a win? Mm. They, they are still winners, right? Yeah, yes, still winners, still winners. Uh, Austin, sorry about that. Mm. One won <laughs> it and uh, Al Hassan Ibrahim just tried to get uh, a job for them. And the last game, Remo Stars and Economy Warriors. Remo Stars winning against Economy Warriors. That was actually mm. a win that they needed so much. So that's that's what it is right there on the table. Relief for coaching Luka Ogbadi for that Remo Stars victory. ABS, the still admirable. Um, ten points from five games for a new team that is just coming to the league. Uh, I think we should give that a mention. But Aimba, Mfon though, we mentioned that he needs to you know step up his game if anybody start winning. And that getting that brace um, in that match was a very good one for uh, the people's elephant, and from here, I think we should start watching Aimba. Yes, yes we should start watching Aimba. And finally, we know his uh, capabilities, we know what he can do. Uh, last season, he was injured and or whatnot, so we didn't see the best of him. And finally, is a poacher you'd want in your team if he is, you know, if he's in the right frame of mind. And I think Aimba just needs to hope that this man is in form all through the season, and I think they would uh, be very serious competitors. Mm -hmm. mm. See where you have Rangers, you know. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, anyway mm. match day five. I mean, six yeah. points from five matches. Interesting. But Cecilia, we always say that to achieve success sometimes um, might come easy or difficult, whatever the case may be, but to sustain, to retain that success. Because Chinasia, at the moment, awful. Rangers, they are the team to beat. Yes, they are. Everybody's out for them. They won the league. It's the same thing. You know, once you're, a champ, once you're the champion, everybody that wants to play you will step up the game and uh, believe that we have to show you that we are capable of competing with Before you at that level. So. Come on, yes. Anywhere Rangers is <laughs> play right now, they will right be, that, um, they will be, you know, uh, hard. They, 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 they will have, they will face, they have it hard against the team right now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Pictures from the game between Kano Pillars and MFM. We always knew uh, that uh, Chinasia this one would bring people to the stadium. But uh, look at uh, MFM. Um, there's this love they have for the coach now. We need to find out what is the coach the Chuku and this team, and. Um, with the start of play MFM they are having this season, I don't think we'll see them struggle the way they did last season. Last season, they did struggle at the points, but 
what you would say that they've got to this season will be some really experience bad. from what happened last season. Mm. The kind of football they play, the quality of football they play is not in doubt. You know, we've seen it all, we saw it all through last season that they play really good football. Mm. The problem we're talking about was their stamina lasting through all the season. And now the coach has had one season under his belt in the, Premier, in the, in the, in the top division, so he's more experienced. And uh, like Austin said, I don't expect to see them struggle, yeah. you know, like they did last season. I think this time around they should be looking at ways of getting into the continent uh, if they keep playing like this. Don't mm. put pressure on them, but, but I love the substitution he made. I mean, when he actually came in as a substitution, mm. he was able to get them. And I'm sure Coach goal. Ilichuku said some things to Wahid, so he did that <laughs> to, <laughs> say, both, to the coach to say thank you, do it again, put me me again and I'll score for you, you know. That's just it. You know, we keep saying that when you have a chance in football, take it. No way, surely when you're mm. playing Kano Pillars. Yeah. You know, the crowd alone, I, I understand that they are a Lagos team, mm. but then we have those guys at Agege, you know, we know they're going to flood the stadium. Of course, Kano so Pillars like, have a big, they have a big, a huge following. Just look at the movement yeah, of play. This is what I'm talking about. The league is getting better. Players are giving their beats. We were so excited that we didn't get to hear about officiating and um, issues coming from other places. So let's just enjoy the best of the MPFL. That's it. That's the way it is. Mm. Just enjoy the best of it. Now from there, I'll quickly we'll talk about the FA Cup. You know, you know FA Cup uh, upsets will always definitely come. <laughs> Liverpool are there. Out. Now, Liverpool generally, what's happening with them in January? But that, that, then that's not the focus. The focus for me should be Bastien Schweinsteiger. After how many days on the bench? Oh well, uh, it just shows. Do you know? Do you know what I, I, I picked out from everything? It just shows that the man is a top, top, top professional. That's right. You know, after everything, when uh, he was frozen out of the team, when mm -hmm. he was told to train with the younger players, That's right. He kept training. He kept posting on Instagram, on, on Twitter, supporting the team. <laughs> Match day, you will see him talk about the team and everything. And I think Mourinho realized and said, you know what, this man is a is a real professional. That's right. I will give him his chance. Mm -hmm. And. He, the first time he came into the team, he got an assist. Yeah, he, he didn't play again after a while. Now he came back into the team again and got a goal and an assist. So and he you know, it match. shows you uh, what sort of uh, professional he is. Top, yes, top, sir. top. Man. Not just not just Bastian, even Mkhitaryan. When he was on the bench, um, yes, a lot of people saying with the sort of quality he shouldn't be on the bench. But Cecilia, when he got his chance to play, yeah, he, he showed that well. yes, yeah, and I he, said, he, said, he said he deserved to be uh, benched and treated the way he was he because wants to be. he wasn't <laughs> playing as uh, up to standard. And uh, after a while, he got spot. And that's mm. the same thing Mario is also trying to do with Martial. He's been telling Martial that he needs to play better mm -hmm. because he knows he can play better. And uh, you know, maybe he's still the starting spot in the team. Yeah, definitely. And that's why I had to go to Twitter and Twitter this picture of himself, Wayne Rooney, and of course, one matter, all of them excited to make it to the fifth round as we aim to win this beautiful trophy. They won it last year, hmm. last season. Congrats to Joel and Axel. That's the guys who made their day. For Chris Smalley, he says, it's great to be back on that score sheet. He hasn't scored for a while. Boys were solid. That's a strong showing from Wigan. Fifth round, here we come. <laughs> okay. For most of the players, but Boston Schweinsteiger, you, you know, when you have a player who anytime he comes in, he always wants to show something mm. great. And this was all he tweeted after the game. He says, "A great evening with a fantastic win in front of our fans. Thanks to everyone." For the great support. You know, we, 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 we're talking about the way Michael Carrick has been, you know, very important for that okay. Manchester United team. I think uh, Schweinsteiger could be the same. He could be actually a Carrick's main replacement. Mm. And we just saw what happened because Schweinsteiger experienced, you know, he knows how to hold the midfield and everything. So I think uh, Mario is beginning to get his team together. Yeah. Okay. But Manchester United fans will be saying we want to win and just keep winning. Sports this morning on Channels TV. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we have words from the NBA. And of course, what the papers are saying. Don't go anywhere, stay.